Hi and welcome to this tutorial on setting up the hardware and software to capitalise on the pulsing of LED lights for controlling which cameras benefit from which lights. Let's say that we're imaging this car using a camera and lighting on the left hand side. When we introduce a camera and lighting on the right hand side looking in the opposite direction we may well experience uh, the opposing light shining directly into the camera lens. Obviously we could raise the lights out of the way of the field of view but that may well compromise on the quality of the image that we're looking for. As LED lights can be pulsed in sync with the camera we can set up the lights so that only the desired light forms the image in each camera. So camera A is only lit by lighting A and camera B only by lighting B. So how do we do that? Well we already have a sync cable going from camera A to camera B. In this case, camera A is the master and camera B is the sync. If we extend that sync cable to, to drive the lighting um, for, for camera A, sorry, the lighting for camera B, and we introduce a delay of 500 microseconds, and this example is for 1,000 frames per second, so the delay is exactly half of the framing rate, then the lighting from then lighting B will only light the image for, for camera B assuming a, an exposure time of 500 microseconds or less. If we then drive lighting A from the sink out of lighting B and introduce a similar delay so that the, the lighting is now delayed by a thousand microseconds or a thousandth of a second or exactly one frame we'll find that lighting A is back in sync with camera A. So this setup now shows camera A being lit by lighting A and camera B being lit by lighting B and both being invisible to the opposing light. So that's the setup in practice. Let's have a, see, let's have a, a look and see how we set that up in the software. OK, so we've set up the cabling. So now within Motion Studio we need to select which is the master camera. So we have our cameras listed out here and I've already ticked the, uh, the master sync um, tick box there. And we can see in the other camera we've got the slave where that is not ticked. So for normal syncing imaging this is all we need to do and off we can go. To introduce the delay on the sync out we need to select the record tab from uh, the acquisition settings here and the advanced button and that's the advanced sync and trigger configuration under here you can see we have a delay back box down there so if we select that and type in 500 um, so what we're doing here we're applying a delay to the output of the, you know, the sync out from all of the cameras and in this case that's all we need to do obviously we've just set up for two cameras but more cameras could be introduced formed into two camera groups. So thank you so much for watching and if you need more information on this please contact IDT at www.idtvision.co.uk or email sales at idtvision.co.uk. Thank you.